Okay, Oval fans, now look, Sierra, the way she looks as Lily, phenomenal. I love the way Lily looks, I just hate the way she acts. So she keeps blowing up Bobby's phone, and Bobby doesn't want to answer until she finally calls Max, who hands the phone over to Bobby. And she's begging Bobby to, like, slow down and just listen to her. She's in trouble, she needs his help. And Bobby's still in his feelings over the whole situation of, I put my life on the line to come rescue you, and then you left me. I could have died. He's still butthurt over the fact that Lily didn't come with him, not understanding it wasn't a matter of, I don't want to leave my husband. My husband has my entire family, you know, he has a gun pointed at all of their heads. So if I leave, they are dead, so I can't go. Bobby doesn't understand that. He doesn't believe that. He doesn't want to hear that. So he just rushes her off the phone and hangs up. Leading to Lily to say this one line that has me going, you got some nerve. I didn't think you were a weak man. And I'm thinking to myself, no, he's not a weak man. Sure, his feelings for you have made him do stupid ass things, but he's not a weak man. You're a dumb woman for the way you acted. And I'm not trying to undermine her getting waterboarded and whatnot. But at the same time, you're, you're the one who got yourself into this situation. You're the one that decided, I'm going to leave the safety of this hotel where the vice president has us put up right now. I'm going to go back into my husband's home, ransack the safe, for money so I can go on the run and then not expect to have Donald there or security and whatnot preventing her from leaving leading to her getting shot Lily always does stupid stuff and then when she finds herself between a rock and a hard place she wants someone to risk their own safety and whatnot to try and save her the only person I've seen her really go no don't do it is this uh, officer Heather guy I'm just sitting here like, you have the audacity to call Bobby a weak man when you constantly put yourself in scenarios where you have to be the damsel in distress. You try to prove to be badass and whatnot, where she has had her moments, but overall, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Don't call Bobby weak because you're the one who's trapped. I mean, I still don't know what would have happened if, let's say, she stayed at the hotel and then... Eli presented all this information about how, oh yeah, the first son did all this and you all just need to go back to your normal lives. I don't know what would have happened to Lily at that point. My guess is that Bobby wouldn't allow um, Eli to make her, you know, just go out in the cold. Hey, look, look, look. hey, she's staying with us. I don't know. Maybe that's how it would have happened. But regardless, I feel like it's a situation where Lily has become the load the one character who brings nothing to the story right now. If anything else, she uh, brings the story down. I'm not saying you have to get rid of her, but, well, there are a number of people on the over right now who could stand to be cut from the show and it really wouldn't do anything negative, in my opinion. But I don't really know what Lily's going to do at this point. But I do feel that, that it's ridiculous for her to have herself in a situation that she put herself in by going back to the house and now she's whining and complaining, wanting somebody to come rescue her. Pretty much like Maurice in jail right now on Sisters. But yeah, I don't think that Bobby should even bother talking to Lily again. It's not worth it. I mean, he's Bobby, baby. He'll find another woman to lay with. I mean, hell, we already got Priscilla. And I think Simone might be down with him too, even though she said that she's not. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I, I mean, the fact that she said, weak man, it just had me going, Lily, you have got to be kidding me right now. All right, well, thanks so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I'll catch you in the next one.